Hello. So I'm just going to vent a little bit. Plus I like discovered some more things about myself that I was like. There was some video. I can't remember what it was. And I was just like, you know what? Like I'm a slow person. It takes me like five, six months to figure out something. And most people will figure out like five minutes, right? I need to stop talking. Because every time I talk, it's like. Mm. It was like a week or so ago, I think, <clears throat> that I, um, happened to find a reader. Well, I would known about her for a minute, but I watch her stuff on occasion. She's really sweet. She's got a nice, I think, Brooklyn accent, but I'm not sure because, like, I don't go anywhere, so I don't know how other people talk sometimes. And she did these two videos about a child being sacrificed. And as I listened to this video, I realized that, like, this bitch is literally telling me about my fucking childhood, right? Like, you remember those, uh, after terror deck that I have? I still got them, though. I got all my decks, so I just haven't been rotating because I'm lazy. <coughs> but, um, the five of wands where everyone's just sitting there, um, surrounding the one dude. And I used to say, oh, it's like my... Mom and the other kids just surrounding me, telling me about- I wasn't- I wasn't kidding. That wasn't a joke. That was not a joke. That was not a joke. That happened on the regular. I'd be in the living room, either on the couch or on the floor. Well, my mother and my three siblings would sit there and tell me what I would not be. I would not amount to anything. I would never be happy. I didn't deserve anything. I was a coward. I was a thief. I was this. I was that. Some of the nicer stuff they did, they would put a blanket over my head, and then they would put a rope around my neck. And then they would shove me in the living room closet, and I'd be in there sometimes till my dad got home. Sometimes I couldn't hold, hold it. Um, and I'd end up going on myself, and then I'd get the shit beat out of me for that. Sometimes I could... A lot of times I wasn't allowed to use the bathroom because, you know, like, and, and, some, and a lot of times my mom was at work, but she knew some of what was going on, but she avoided shit because she's got issues, too. My older sister, though, mm. Nicole, that bitch. Not my oldest sister, Joel. Um, she's a Gemini, but, like, she's cool. I just can't deal with her Gemini ways, but my sister, Nicole, she's a Virgo. And when Virgos don't like you, then they're mean. <laughs> Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. She does not like me. She is currently bound to a wheelchair, withering away. I only found that out within the last six months or so, I believe. I just learned about that, which is crazy because it's like two years prior to me learning, I had seen her at Christmas party looking well as hell. Then two years later, I found out that all of her health went down, like, the previous year. So, this year, I saw her. The next year, she was wheelchair-bound. And then the year after, then I found out about her, which is crazy. Because it was like, she would torture me as a child. Like, she beat me with belts, hangers. The belts. It was never the leather. It was the metal part. And she would hit me where she could, she'd just make sure it'd be somewhere that I would never see, but it would be like hangers, plastic, metal, we didn't we'll know. Mom got rid of a lot of the metal hangers because she was scared of being called Mommy Dearest, but we had plastic. I would have preferred the wire hangers, honestly, because, you know, wire hangers are at least something solid, but, like, plastic hangers are like a wiffle bat, right? So when you hit someone with them, you start welting up and shit, so that was a thing. Um, I grew up with, uh, scratched up, itchy legs, and my mom always wanted me to wear pants, because it's just like, oh, your legs are torn up from all your scratching. She'd never realized that I was scratching my legs constantly, because that's where I would get hit the most with, um, stuff. Um... Then I found a week or so ago the Raiders videos where he talks about child who got sacrificed, right? And mind you, last year some fucking asshole who um is currently, you know, 
well. They're learning a valuable lesson, but that's beside the point. The point is, uh, last year someone tried to make it sound like I'd sacrificed my own children, which, you know. And that wasn't cool, because that wasn't true. But then I saw this reader's video recently, these videos that she made, these two in particular, and all of a sudden I realized that everybody who was picking up that energy was talking about my family, particularly with my mother and my sister. And then also my sister being bound in a wheelchair made a lot of sense. And all the things that had happened to me growing up. A lot of it, I honestly do. Like, it's a few things that I remember. It's not all of it, because I, because there was so much. You know, I remember this one time she beat me like a fucking dog because, like, she wanted me to do a book report on summer break. And it was just like, I don't want to do a book report. You're not even a teacher. Um... I remember she told me she wanted a report immediately, and I was just like, I'm not doing it. I don't want to do this report. And she took my head and slammed it into the wall, and that hole still in the wall to this very day. Um, she once took a shoe and bashed me across the face with it, and then when my father got home, she told him something, so he whipped my ass again. Like, that was regular shit. That, like, they would be sitting there lying to dad about, um what happened in reality they just wanted to see me get beat the fuck up with my father like the same way they beat the fuck out of me and it just gave me a lot of abandonment and trash issues made me really angry very sensitive to um trusting people made me want to go look for someone who would actually love me. And in that endeavor, oh god, that, that was... God damn it, that was great. No bueno. I haven't been happy for a while. I was happy. That was all illusions. Now it's all a... Uh, a new chapter, a new start. And you know, it's weird because I've, I've never... The only person who really knows the extent of the stories I actually went through was my husband and I can't... And I guess I'm telling all you guys because I guess I need to get it out because it's just like, you know, um... It's just been a lot of memories today. <laughs> like, it's my daughter's birthday, but I'm thinking about my childhood, and it's just, like, you know, kind of selfish. You know, my son, his death didn't bother me, because, you know, at least I got 45 minutes to an hour with him, right? But my daughter, like, that's what broke my heart and my spirit. Like, she's found, she was how I found out that I had the confidence cervix to begin with. The only reason my son died was because, like, the doctor didn't give me the antibiotics that I needed so I wouldn't get an infection. That motherfucker lived 20 minutes away from the hospital, and it took him nearly three hours to get to my bed. And her midwife, who was a traveler who just happened to be in the area, was the one who had to cut my cervix back open. Because if that didn't happen, my cervix was bulging out, and if it kept going... Um, my insides probably would have ripped out, and I would have internally bled to death. My daughter, um, I don't know how they brought me back from that. too personal of a video I don't know but it's like it's I have no one to really talk about my personal shit with anyway 
And someone runs off and says whatever with the serial. <laughs> okay, whatever. Thanks for letting me know who the fuck you is and you not being capable of listening or understanding where I'm coming from. You know, I've been an angry person most of my life and it's just I don't want to be attached to this world. Uh, this world is full of a lot of pain, a lot of suffering, a lot of anguish. <laughs> And especially a lot of motherfuckers who take this shit too seriously. Um, in a way, you know, like... <laughs> what's that? Where, what's that line by, uh... Harvey Danger Flagpole Sitter? All around the world... I find that only stupid people are brave, and I feel like there are too many people who I observe personally who bring children into this world and don't even give a fuck about them. They treat them like shit. They abandon them. They get rid of them. They beat them. They treat them like shit. They murder children are like their lovers murder their kids they're women who will choose a man over their children because they only see them as a fuck trophy and a paycheck every month if the father will pay on that that is some women will even go out of their way to kill their children just to spite a man never loved them they just had them because biologically that's what a woman is supposed to do it's different when you have to be a woman who isn't capable or chooses not to, or has difficulty with that basic biological ability. <laughs> and it is basic. It's very basic. Like, oh, yeah, it's so basic. It is. It's very basic. Anybody can see that. It takes a lot more effort to be a parent, to be a mother and a father. There are easily bitches with kids, and there are deadbeat dads. And in a way, I don't know, it's like, like I've been sitting here for like the last hour <coughs> thinking to myself if I would have had my kids, would I have been like everybody else and just ruined their fucking life? That exactly what my family did to me because like I wouldn't have realized all of this shadowy shit about myself if they hadn't gone away. I wouldn't have realized how much of the stuff that happened to me was so wrong, despite the fact that I'll remember all of it. Um, it's a lot, but I just kind of blocked out because there were things, there were a lot of gaps in my childhood, and I know it's because like I don't want to remember. Like, there was this one time when my sister, she decided to write this paper, and she showed it to me. Like, I was working in a hospital, and I was sitting in the cafe, <laughs> serving people fucking yogurt and granola. The granola was fucking disgusting. When it didn't have cinnamon in it, but for some reason, oh no, 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 there was a reason this one bitch kept putting cinnamon in it, so I couldn't eat it, but that was fine, because, you know, like, at least I wasn't married to a no, 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 I can say it, because, but, I remember sitting there, and my sister and her fiancé, I think, I don't think they're married yet, I don't know, but she showed me this paper of, um, where she had written down some of the things that happened to us as kids, and I was reading it, and as I was reading it, slowly memories started coming in and I and it was like I was reliving it in my head and I and it was like whoa so that's where the hole in the hallway came from you know you don't like you, like, you don't realize how much you forget over time until someone with a much fresher basis for the memory reminds you and then all of a sudden it's just like wow no wonder I'm fucked up that explains a whole goddamn lot no wonder I'm funny no wonder I'm funny I was really fucking traumatized holy shit I have great humor which is you know I guess that's a good trade because usually sacrifices are trades 
Um, so I was traumatized for the benefit of everybody else, but I became pretty and funny. So I, I guess I can't complain too much, but still. It's really, it was just one of those things where I didn't know. And then I see that. And it just dragged up all the stuff I, I don't think I would have recalled on my own. And now I'm just sitting here on my daughter's fifth birthday. I'm looking back on my life. Still realizing I am nowhere near as close to knowing or understanding the goddamn thing. I mean, that's the age of 36, you know, like, which is weird, because it's like, you don't realize everything that happens to you does happen for a reason, whether you want it to admit that or not, um, you know, like, there's always order out of chaos because like after the chaos you're able to pick whatever is left up and like do something with it right you know black lodge you know um you have to destroy things in order to create something from you have to break a bow and in order to make it into a necklace or a bracelet or use it to stab someone's eye i don't know like do whatever you want with your chicken bones i have no idea but It still trips me up, you know? It's like, um... Kind of like you can look at other things and know exactly what you're looking at. But when you look at yourself... You're not allowed to know... Too much. Because if you know too much... That can be dangerous. Because when you know too much... By yourself... Oh... Like, you know, they're, like, I, I rather, well, I don't even know if that's accurate to even say, because you kind of do have to know yourself, but at the same time, it's like, how much do you need to know? And if you know too much, what do you think's going to happen? Like, most people don't even want you, the government doesn't want you knowing too much, or else, like, you know, you could, <laughs> what happened to Ryan? He went to Jamaica. You know, it's one of those things where it's like, when you know too much, you let people know that you know too much. That's dangerous, because then you have power. But knowledge with power just means that, like, you know something that someone else either needs or needs to destroy. And I feel like I know a lot. Like, and that's the thing, like, for me, the weird thing and that's the one thing I hate you know like it's not even like I know everything before I open my mouth or say something right or mention something out it's just kind of like once it comes out it comes out it's like um Elizabeth and Bioshock you know I've always had the key I just didn't know it was there till I opened my hand and I looked and it was right there it was one of those things where it's like Be not afraid, for I am with you. And I don't know why it makes me want to cry. That's actually what got me to sit here and talk about this, because I heard that and it I don't know what it means. I know someone that I could trust said it. It's kind of what made me sit here because it was just like I was just sitting here thinking about myself, the kids, and then that voice came and it's just like, why do you have an accent? The fucking accent you had. And I just wanted to sit here and talk about it. And, um, I don't know. Like, I know I'm crazy.
crazy. I know. I know I got issues. I know. I know I'm a problematic fucking bitch. I'm an angry black woman. Ugh. You knew that when you fucking met me. I don't. I don't. Why are you bring? Why are you telling me what I already know? You know, but it's just. I guess it's just me feeling a certain type of way about the way I've met that made me feel more held, held on for some I just need to vent. It's a strange way that my kids always make me feel always make me feel like I need to look at myself from when I was a kid. All of every year since I have Man, I didn't want to cry. <laughs> like such a little bitch. I hate fucking relationships. These are fucking stupid. I go on off this brain stuff for fucking hours. Honestly. That's what I really want more than anything. Just to get off this planet. Not be back in rotation. Not be back in the wheel of fate. Wheel of fate? Why did I say fate? Wheel of Faith? Wheel of Faith? Wheel of Faith? What the fuck did you do? Okay, now you're just fucking with me. Either way, I don't know. I'll be back with the mid Februarys tomorrow. I just. I guess I just I just guess I just I just needed y'all to pretend to be my friends so I had someone to talk to, I guess. Cause I had to leave everything behind. Always, always, you know, the spirit of the adventurer and the cast, as they like to say. Who's they? I don't fucking know, cause, um... <sighs> Who's they? Oh, now you're fucking quiet. Okay. Well, I, 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 I guess we don't know what we're talking about today. See, all that trauma made me absolutely fucking hilarious. I love it. It makes me so fucking special. I got this ass. By the time I'm 50, I'm gonna get an ass like my mom did when she was in her 50s. I cannot wait. But that's what I'm doing, I don't know. I'm just talking to you guys like you're my friends, and I just needed someone to listen to me, even if it is the stupidest fucking shit. Even if it is, doesn't matter. You know, I'm still human, and I still feel things. I'm sorry this isn't a reading. I'm sorry I'm not helping y'all out tonight, but it was just, I kind of needed y'all to help me out tonight, I guess. If that makes sense. Thank mm -hmm.
Like, I'm not really good with making friends anyway. And even, well, no, that's, that's a lie. I can make friends pretty well. Most people like me, so that's cool. Um, but I don't like getting groups to people. I don't like being emotional, because that tends to be the way people get to me. I don't like getting close to people and letting people know too much about me, because, God, it bites me in the ass every fucking time. And that's just... Can there just be one person who I can relate to? No? No? Oh. Oh, you're an NPC. That's cool. At least you're not a Markovian, because that, that... I can't deal with... Identity people, like, you know, I'm, I'm just saying, like, I can't see people who rely on their identities. Like, that's just fucking annoying. Because it's just like, is that all to you? I guess. I don't know. But then again, I'm petty and I'm fucked up, so. And I don't know what I'm saying right now. I'm just. Venting. I hope you guys don't mind. But, you know, I don't know, like, I, like, I never went, like, you know, like, I'm just saying, just because I got some abilities, I know how to do things, I know how to do magical shit, you know. I'm still a person. A little life outside of this platform. dreary outside <laughs> well not really no it snowed last night into this morning so like my daughter at least got snow for her birthday because I think that's what she well yeah that is what she wanted actually dreams later she likes snow or rain and it's just like whoa whoa bra bra like what you wear bra look <laughs> I don't like the snow that much if I still had my jeep, maybe, but, but, um, in the end, it's like, um, I don't know, maybe it's good I'm vulnerable with y'all sometimes, because I don't want you guys to think that I'm perfect or anything, like, I have so many problems, too, just like y'all. Maybe not the same, but I'm still here, just like you guys. And I hope you don't mind me, um, well, coming to you like I'm your client. <laughs> Instead of you guys coming to me for readings about your situations, I guess I would bring the situation that's currently on my mind to you guys, just so, like... Because I have someone to make me feel like I matter a little bit, to be quite frank. I've been kind of depressed the last few days because my daughter's birthday is coming up soon. I don't know, that's just how I'm feeling, so you know. I'm sorry for, um,. I guess being weak. I just need it though. And um, I don't know. <clears throat> Cause obviously, like you guys in the audience, you're the only ones who I um. Hell, you were the guys who I went to right after my daughter passed away. Always, like, even when I was doing other shit on this channel, I always came to you guys and just vented and spoke my mind, and I don't know why I've been afraid to do that as of late, to talk about what's going on with me, because I know, like, a lot of you guys care about what goes on with me, just as much as I care about what's going on with you.
maybe that's my fault for making myself um, seem way more important than what I actually am in regards to the aspect of all of us because we're all prisoners here. None of us skin out this little bitch alive, you know. Look, I'm not even pressing your button. Don't press mine. But yeah, it's like, um, and now I don't even know what the fuck I was saying. But, um, yeah, I'm always coming to you guys to talk about what's on my mind even before I started doing this terror shit, and, you know. Oh, it's my fault for making myself feel important and feel like I'm somebody when really I'm nobody just like the rest of the world. I am a person of billions who is also stuck here like everybody else. And even I get lost sometimes in my own bullshit and I need to sit down and think to myself, you know, like, you know what, you are really on your bullshit and you need to get the fuck off your high horse, hey fam. You need to fuck off your high horse. I don't know. But, um. Thank you all for being my friend. Thank you all for sticking around during my craziness. During my insane escapades. During the times when I probably should have kept my mouth shut and I didn't. That's important. That's important. Like, thank you for being here when I, I fuck my life up and it goes to shit like it does every six months to a year because I'm really good at that. But, you know, it's not really pathetic. I would be like a Sagittarius, which makes a whole lot of fucking sense. But I spent too much time calling myself a Capricorn. And, 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 you know, I'm way more stubborn than I am committed. So we're gonna keep that. <laughs> we're gonna keep that energy, right? But I don't know. Oh my god, the night it's Scorpio rising. Oh wow, that explains a whole fucking lot of shit. They're coming back, baby. Oh no. Fuck you. Anyway, I'm gonna hop off here because I wasted enough of your time. I'm sorry I wasted my time. But, um, I don't know. I'll see you guys tomorrow though because I'm gonna do the mid February. So hopefully this doesn't drive most of you away. And hopefully it doesn't make y'all. Actually, it doesn't even matter because if you really, like, give a shit, it doesn't matter what I say or do, you're still gonna love me. I'm still adorable in your eyes. You guys are gonna be more than told that I'm human too. Anyway, I'm getting off here. I'll talk to you guys later. I love your face. Be safe. Stay suspicious. Oh! I will this one thing which is really fucked up to put at the end of the video where I'm just like blubbering and crying like a little bitch but there was this dream I had last night that really was weird it's like someone was getting uh <laughs> and the visual I saw was like the person had their head down there was drool coming out of their mouth and like person was stealing kitty cat from the back and it looked I was almost like on a camera angle. It was like this almost as it was happening and that kind of angle and I'm not even like I'm not sure but the person had like brown wavy hair and fair skin and I say wavy like 90s wavy where it was like wavy and then it's all chopped severely straight at the bottom I don't know if that was a vision or if that was a warning. But there's that. Anyway.
I'm gonna go. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.